In the macroeconomic aims of government, the focus of government policies is different from microeconomic aims. Micro aims of government is to ensure efficiency in the use of resources and equity in the distribution of wealth while macro aims are focused more on the entire economy. Government macroeconomic aims focus around five main objectives. 1. Low inflation. 2. Low level of unemployment. 3 high and sustainable economic growth. 4. Healthy positive balance of payment. 5. Income equity. Achieving low inflation and stable prices. To keep inflation under control that would mean that the government has to prevent price of goods and service from rising. If prices are rising too fast and one's income does not rise fast enough, then people in the country end up buying less goods and services. We say there is a fall in the purchasing power of the people. To maintain a low level of unemployment. 1. Government have to create jobs so that people can earn a living to afford basic necessities and even some luxury goods when their incomes increase. 2. People need to earn income to pay for goods and services and to save so as to be able to afford more education to upgrade their skills and be more productive to earn higher income. 3. If unemployment is too high in a country. The government will have to put aside more funds as welfare for the unemployed. High unemployment also risks social unrest. Full employment. The entire population of a country is not the labor force of the country. The labor force of a country consists of the population minus infants, students, housewives and old people as they are not of the labor force. Full employment in the labor force would mean that all in the labor force who are willing and able to work can find work. The unemployment rate is the percentage of those in the labor force who are willing and able to work but cannot find work. To achieve high level of growth rate. Increase in spending in a country by consumers, firms. Government and exporting more than importing will give rise to economic growth. An increase in spending by any of the sector mentioned above will help the country to achieve greater economic growth causing the growth rate to increase. Economic growth means people's income are increasing and will become more wealthy thereby increasing their material standard of living. Aggregate demand or AD is the total output of goods and services consumed in an economy. It consists of four sectors of expenditure. Consumer expenditure, C. Firms investments, I. Government expenditure, G. Exports revenues less imports expenditure, X minus M. Total output aggregate demand equals C plus I, plus G, plus X minus M. When there is an increase in any of the AD components, this will cause AD to increase from AD to AD2. Economic growth will increase from Y0 to Y1. Aggregate supply is the total output of goods and service produced in the economy. Where AD intersects AS is the amount of spending of a country, Y1. We call this Y1 the GDP of the country. If GDP is at the horizontal part of AS, then there are unemployed labor and unused resource. Prices do not rise if the GDP is along the horizontal part of the AS. If GDP is on the vertical part, then resources are getting scarce and price rises in the vertical part owing to competition for scarce resources.
Any increase in AD on the vertical section of the AS will only cause rise in prices or inflation with no corresponding rise in output or GDP. Maintain a healthy balance of payments. Money flows in and out of a country through trading with other countries, as well as with foreign companies investing in the country. If more money flowed into a country from the exports than country than funds being invested out of the country by local firms then the country's balance of payment will be positive and healthy. Redistribution of income and wealth. The wealth gap between rich and poor cannot be too large. The lower income may be discouraged from working if it becomes too large. Money needs to be redistributed from rich to poor. Government uses taxation to redistribute the wealth or use their funds to spend more on the education of the poor. The higher income people will be taxed at a higher rate than the lower income.